EA Sports, and we are at Bill Stadium in upstate New York. The folks in Buffalo love their Bills, and a moment ago, they entered to the delight of this sold-out crowd. They're set for football as their Bills will do battle with the Washington football team. And we are underway in Buffalo. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. On first and ten, Fitzpatrick. That's complete. Terry McLaurin with it. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Now Fitzpatrick. And a dangerous throw there as that's knocked down and incomplete. Receiver coaches preach to their guys all the time. Separation, that's what's going to make the play successful. That time there was very little, and I think they were actually fortunate that it was only knocked away and not intercepted. Off the play fake here, Fitzpatrick. And on the left sideline, he caught it, but out of bounds, according to the headlinesman. Incomplete, so the ball a little late getting there, and it's third down. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. Got a man open. It's Ricky Seals-Jones. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. Couple of first downs to kick off the drive. Here's first and 10 up at the 46. And he'll be brought down at the 50 after a gain of about five. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure if you're back, you spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300 plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. Fitzpatrick now from the 50. Steps away to his left. And he'll get this to the 30-yard line before crossing over out of bounds. Partner, it's often the man coverage is easier for a quarterback to run against. You get your receivers going downfield. Those guys are staying with them, and oftentimes they have their back to the quarterback, which opens up a lot of space and room, and they don't even know that he's taken off with it. What a big-time pickup on that play. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. 20 yards on both of those plays back-to-back -back there. They are moving now. It's another first down. To throw is Fitzpatrick. Quick hitter here. It's complete. Touchdown! Logan Thomas from 10 yards out. And Washington takes the ball down the field and scores on their opening drive. Extra point forthcoming. It's good, and Washington will take a 7-0 lead. Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. A play fake to Singletary, and now it's Allen. And the catch made. This is Emmanuel Sanders. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. A big game there for the Bills. Oftentimes now, offenses aren't nearly as precise as days gone by. They just have receivers find an open patch of grass and let the quarterback find you. And that's exactly what they did on that play. First with the pass through the air, nice chunk of yardage there, and then additional pick up with his legs after the catch. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. 
Big game there for the Bills. And that's now two big catches on this drive for him. You know, the NFL keeps talking about the possibility of using video for coaching on the sidelines. That's not approved yet, but you can still use pictures. They've got to send his picture. Touchdown, Bills! Dawson knocks a touchdown ground from Josh Allen. And the Bills are an extra point away from tying the football game. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And that will tie our score here in this opening quarter of play. Each team's had it, each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. They're set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. Someone sharp in this game. I mean, a touchdown pass on the first drive and comes right back and He's flinging it around really well here. A really nice throw there to pick up the first down. You, you kind of just feel a laser focus and confidence about him. And I think we saw that this week, didn't we? Talking to him and the coaches, they felt good about his performance coming up. Yeah, I was really impressed with that last practice we saw when they went through two-minute drill, when they went through all the different situations. Ball hardly hit the ground, and I thought, yeah, he might be locked in for this one. And Fitzpatrick's throw complete there to Thomas. And he's got a first down as a tackle made at the Bills 35. Fitzpatrick. Throw right side going to be caught by Seals Jones. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. These two teams all tied after one. First and ten, and they've got three tight ends out there. A jumbo package look. Fitzpatrick going to give to Gibson. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. Well, if you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. Thomas has got it. Complete. And he'll be taken down at the two-yard line. Gibson is into the end zone. Touchdown, Washington. So it was the passing game that got him down here, but closer to the goal line, it's the running game that gets him home. Certainly appears that they lulled the defense into thinking that the passing game was going to be it the entire drive. Nice change up there going to the running game to get him over the goal line. Extra point by Sly is up and good, and that makes the score 14-7. to Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. Isaiah McKenzie now on the return. And he will make it to the 20-yard line and no further. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. They trail a one-score deficit, 14-7, as they come up first and 10. Allen's throw caught by Sanders. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. The big play to start him out has him at the 45 already. On play action, Allen. This is brought in by the tight end, Tommy Sweeney. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. <laughs> I got kicked out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. A gain of six there on first. Four yards remain for second down. Allen off the play fake. And this throw incomplete. 
Now the defender all over him that time, but it's going to lead to third down. Nice play there to force the incompletion. And to me, one thing's for sure. When you're the underdogs and you're playing on the road, you absolutely have to get takeaways. You've got to get the ball from them. Yeah, win that turnover battle going to be key. They didn't get one there, but you get the feeling they keep making plays like that. They might just get a few. Yeah, once you get one, defensive teams think they come in bunches. And he is going to have a Bulls first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. On first down, Allen. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far. It's second down. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. And again, it's Allen. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. And he'll wind up picking up about four, as that is going to bring us to the two-minute warning. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. And this one caught by Beasley. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. Second quarter action, 156 remaining. A chance now to get even before the break as they come up first and goal. Now Allen. Fighting a safety valve here. That's complete. So that'll be no better than an incompletion. And that'll make it second and goal. Throwing now is Allen. Caught on the slant. Touchdown. Dawson knocks a touchdown grab from Josh Allen. And the Bills are an extra point away from tying the football game. Now he's having a nice little first half here, partner. And it's a first half that leaves us anticipating what can still come. I mean, two touchdowns already here through the second quarter. There could be plenty more before this game is over. And he will not get there as the try for two is unsuccessful. And they will remain down by a point. Has to kick it away. And they'll let that one go as it skips through the back of the end zone for a touchback. Out there, set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. After the long touchdown drive we just saw, you wonder if maybe that's taken a little of the wind out of this offensive sales because they had it going pretty good last time, too. They had to sit over there for a little while, didn't they? You know, they were eager, amped up to get back on the field after just scoring, hoping to get the ball back quickly. That didn't happen, so I'd say come out, just kind of get started again. You know, it doesn't have to be anything dramatic. Just get moving, get loose again, and see if they can get it downfield. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. And an incomplete pass. That'll stop the clock here with just under a minute to play in half number one. As tight ends go, he might not provide the super flashy plays very often, but he's pretty reliable. Usually an excellent target and normally catches what's thrown to him, but he didn't on that play. Second and ten. Fitzpatrick to throw it. And that'll fall incomplete. He was hit just as he let that go. And now it's third down. So now third and ten. A big play to start the drive, but nothing since. Fitzpatrick again. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Thomas. And he's got a first down as the tackle made at the Bills 40. Here's Fitzpatrick. That's complete to his tight end, Seals Jones. And he gets this down inside the 35 before going out of bounds. Seven yards, the pick up there. Throwing again on second down, Fitzpatrick. And the Bills are going to get him as he goes down. Washington now going to use the first of their three timeouts as they'll stop him with 27 seconds remaining here in the second quarter. On third down, Fitzpatrick buying time to his left. 
There he goes inside the 30. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. Fitzpatrick on first down. Forced out to his left. Now Fitzpatrick hit. It's out. He lost the football. But this will fortunately wind up out of bounds. Can almost hide his face mask there. The look of relief. He coughed it up, but it goes out of bounds. They keep it. Someone came around with a lucky horseshoe, aren't they? If I were him, I'd go out and play the lottery after that one. A very fortunate man. And they're operating in plus territory here. They're thinking points. Definitely don't want to lose the football at this juncture. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. Now Fitzpatrick. Looking and finding Thomas in the end zone. Touchdown, Washington. Logan Thomas in the final seconds of the first half. And Washington able to stretch that lead out even further. Extra point by Sly is up and good. And the lead is up to eight. So time enough for a kickoff here. Five seconds remaining in this first half. Short, short kick. One of the up middle take it down. And he's going to give his guys great starting fit as he dives to the ground to get as much as he can. A final shot before half for Allen. Going deep for Diggs. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off at the 13. And he will be brought down on what will be the final play of this first half. And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Final adjustments being made for the second half. So with that... We get you back up to Orchard Park and rejoin Brandon and Charles. And we welcome you back now alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn getting set for quarter number three here. The Bills trail here, but they will get the football first as we are back underway on EA Sports. Returning it, Isaiah McKenzie. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. They do trail, but they have a chance to possess the football first to try and do something about it. And that certainly makes it something of an important drive for them because is it going to win the game? No, but you have to do something to bring some life to your sideline. Play action. Now it's Allen. He'll buy some time right. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. The last drive, remember, similar situation. He forced a ball in the coverage through the pick. He learned better there. Yeah, similar to a golfer that's confronted with a shot that you just can't make. Sometimes you have to take your medicine, as they say, right? Just pull it down, take off, and go. Don't make something worse than what it was. Well, on first down, they look downfield, and it's complete. And all the way home for the Bills touchdown. Emmanuel Sanders, 54 yards. And the Bills have come back to make it a two-point game. Even though he was forced from the pocket, still able to adjust, make the long throw, and it ends with a really big touchdown. Yeah, moving to his left. The key to everything when they're moving outside of the pocket, doesn't matter which side, making sure those shoulders get around and you get back square so you can get everything on the throw and create the big play we just saw there downfield. So a tie ball game here as the kick's away. Out there, set ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. Their halftime lead now evaporated. We're back to level following that touchdown a moment ago. And that shouldn't change the mindset a whole lot from an offensive perspective because they already knew this was going to be a hard-fought game. 
Now they just need to go out, execute their game plan, and keep moving. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Fitzpatrick. He'll find his tight end, Seals Jones. And they work this well upfield across the 45. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open, just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. Flushed out right. He completes this one to Terry McLaurin. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. A handoff for Gibson. And power running here down to the six-yard line. A nice run there, nine yards, and it'll be second down. They'll go again with Gibson. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. Now that's the way to do it. Hand it to someone with vision and good footwork and add a little, little bit of power, and you find a way to pick up first downs. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. Looking and finding Thomas in the end zone. Touchdown, Washington. A five-yard touchdown catch. And Washington has taken the lead. Extra point by Sly is up and good. And they will take a seven-point lead. Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. And a short kick taking it about the 16. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape up past the 30. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. Three quarters have come and gone. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Montez Sweat, he's the one that got home and takes him down for a loss of nine. So after the sack, Allen and the Bills with work to do on third and long. To throw, it's Allen. He's going to go deep for Beasley. And unable to connect. Incomplete. Now give him credit. They took...